I guess it's time to talk about the city. We bought this 1983 Honda City Turbo 2 completely sight unseen with no inspection back in 2017. The idea was to have a company car build vlog thingy. This side car has sat unattended to and literally rotting away in the back of our lot. Yes, it's my fault. Saying that I got busy is some of the reason nothing has taken shape, but mostly it's just been hard for me to put my focus into this while also running the company. Starting today, I'm pushing for some new enthusiasm with this car. I want to hear your support to help me get over the shame of my past failures. We can do this together, and I believe in your ability to believe in me believing in myself. And I'm going to need it. This car is going to need a lot of help. Okay, big day today. It's time to pick up the Honda City from the shop. It has been fixed. Well, partially fixed. They say that it's not running very well and it's puffing uh, some sort of smoke, but uh, I get to drive my city uh, for the first time today. So we are going to head over there. We gotta bring some, we gotta bring some tires because the tires on the Honda are completely flat. And so, bring your tires, jack, jack things. Hello company car, how are you? You guys get to see something super funny. Um, I drunk bought some wheels for it and they ended up being too small. And the funniest part about that story is that I wasn't actually drunk when I bought them. <laughs> I just felt like buying some wheels um, that are too small. I showed you on, the, on one of the live streams, but there you go. We now have a set of TE37s that are way too small for our company car. And so here's the deal, we'll take company car, we'll put the original Honda wheels that are over here into the back of this. We gotta go to our lot. We gotta pick up an RX-7 that is in the lot right now that is too low to ship. So we have to send it to the same shop that the city's at so that they can lift that one up. We'll put the wheels and tires onto the city. We'll drive the city back here. We're gonna get some video of it because I've been waiting over a year to buy this car. Uh, so, or, or at least to drive the car. So I'm really excited about that. Okay, so time to put the tires into the car. Make sure that we have the jack in there. We do. Bonus problem. I, I, I thought I had checked this before. We have two that have air in them and two that are likely punctured and don't have air in them. These wheels would fit on the city, but I don't really have time to take those off. Uh, hmm, I'm gonna go up and see what Mike has to say about that. Hey Mike, Hi. I have a question for you. Yeah. Would you like to guess in PSI or in bar, the air pressure that is in the four tires? That came off? The ones that were just sitting in the corner for the last year. 17. <laughs> uh, if you were to sit, take an average of all four of them, you're probably right. Yeah. Yeah, we got two that are okay. And two that have no air pressure at all in them. They don't, they don't have any air in them. Oh, none? None. Oh, wow. So what are we going to do? We have, well, we have the foot pump. I don't think that, I think it's probably punctured. What are we gonna do? Okay, we found some wheels that are gonna work for that. So uh, hopefully they're going to work. The shop says that they're uh, the wrong size. They might be a little bit big for the city. Uh, they come from the Vitz Turbo. And we gave them to the shop in the first place to use. And they're like, nope, they're the wrong size. We're not gonna try, but we, Mike and I are more adventurous <laughs> and I, I don't know, I, 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 I think I, wheel sizing is not my thing. I have not seen this. <laughs> okay, reaction time. Oh man, it's low. It looks sweet though. Does yeah. Mike, Mike, Mike checking out the new wheels. Slam it. Yep. Slam it. Look how low that is. <laughs> yeah, let's lower it further. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay. So we, we might scrape here going out. No, no, I think we're fine. 
<laughs> Not only did we scrape in the middle, we scraped in the front bumper there. Sex in there now, too. Oh, oh whoa. no, it's nothing special at oh, all. Oh, it's just got a black door. <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, excavators over there. Oh, my god. Do you have any predictions for the city? Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna see once, once we see it. Like, I think that the engine is going to run. I think it's possible that it doesn't boost properly. Mm. So, this corner, our, our last tires were never able to uh, spin. We're gonna see if we can spin the tires in here and do illegal things on videos. Because the new tires are only 155 and the old ones are like a 215, but we're a Pilot Sport 4, so super grippy. Ready? Go. We got some spin of the tires. Yahoo! How cool are we? There it is, that's where we're going. It's behind an Escalade. Damn. Ah. Oh no, we're not going to be able to get up there. Ew. Oh. We're too low. Let's try anyway, because it'll be funny. Okay. Up on Oh, scrape <laughs> fist style, just floor it. Oh, we're good. Back. Oh, nice. Oh, how cool am I? Super smooth. Mike, we're cool there. Put that in the video. Nice. Now we're coming back for you. Just kidding. Mike. Oh. Backing oh. up is cool. Put it in the video. All right, manual labor time. Okay, so these are the extra wheels that came with the car. They're the original optional wheels and pretty sweet and pretty awesome. Arigato gozaimasu. This is how much we paid in order for them to get the injectors rebuilt and some other things too. I don't know what else. I'll check it out later. But uh, I put in, oh, 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 oh. Oh. My first time. It's a little bit shaky. <laughs> I can't figure this out. I'll just put it back. <laughs> oh, it smells like an old moldy car. Okay, so we have air in this tire. We're good. Air in that tire. We're good. Oh, there's air in all the tires. Hey, we can just drive it like this. Yeah, I think these are the wheels they put on, right? Nope. These are the original ones. They just put air in them, but they're probably leaky. So they'll, they'll, uh, they'll run out of air soon. So yeah, we, we can just, no tire can we can just pull out now, Mike. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that should be fine, right? That's safe. <laughs> so in all our excitement to get here to the city, we, we realized that we forgot to pick up the RX-7 to drive it here, and because we were going to come here with the RX-7, Mike's going to go get that now. He's going to leave us here, and then he's going to come back with the RX-7. In the meantime, we're going to have a quick look at uh, the condition of the car, because maybe you forget about how sweet this car is. The tires might fall off on the way back. Yeah. That's happened to Mike before. Now nah, you got lots of room. Yeah. Just joking. <laughs>
Okay, Mike just messaged me that he's coming around the last corner now, so I'm just gonna get a quick shot of him coming in. There he is. In the orange car. And thanks to the customer for allowing us to put your car onto uh, onto the channel here. <laughs> I got the camera ready for you looking cool getting out of the cool car, but yeah, uh. So cool. How do I get out? <laughs> <laughs>
engine. Bang. <laughs> 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 What's that? <laughs> Let's park it near the Impretzel. Impretzel. It can be France. Oh. Hey Derek, you said we could we could share, right? End of the video here, we officially have a running Honda City. It's right behind me. Woo! It's been more than a year coming, but uh, yeah, next step, we're going to see what it takes to get the car restored with all the rust and stuff in the back, and uh, maybe a couple of mechanical things here and there, but uh, hopefully we get a really cool looking vehicle pretty soon. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, people.